UCL has a radical history and ethos that make it a university unlike any other. Breaking away from traditional English universities, UCL was founded in 1826 as a place for revolutionary thinking that has since changed the world. At the time, in England, if you wanted to go to university, you had to be a man, of course, and you also had to go to either Oxford or Cambridge, where you were required to be a, a member of the Church of England in order to take your degree. And the founders of the University of London, now known as University College London, thought it was important that university education should be open to people of all faiths and of none. As a secular institution, UCL was the first university in England to admit women, Catholics, atheists and Jewish students and staff. A legacy that has shaped many UCL departments, particularly the Department of Hebrew and Jewish Studies. UCL has the merit uh, as a result of the set of liberal principles on which it was founded uh, of being not only the first academic institution to admit Jewish students on an equal basis, but to me much more significantly to appoint from the very beginning at the foundation a professor of Hebrew who was a Jew. And from then on this department uh, was uh, distinguished by teaching the language and the culture in a completely non-denominational context. It was very small when it first began but has grown to be the largest department uh, of its kind, certainly in the United Kingdom, and I think uh, it would be accurate to say also in Europe. The radical ideas that founded UCL are still alive today. The cultural diversity of students and staff reflects in the range of world-renowned academic disciplines. Situated in the heart of the most cosmopolitan city in the world, UCL is comprised of over 29,000 students and staff, from 140 different countries, all bringing with them their unique ways of living, working and studying. UCL has the most um, union societies of any university in, in, in the United Kingdom, so a major part of that is the faith societies. Guru Ka Langa, um, is basically just a kind of free food for all, regardless of caste, colour, creed, sex, anything. And it's a great way to kind of just put principles of equality, sharing what you have with others, um, and just kind of seeing the best in all. So here we are, sharing what we have with everyone at UCL, um, and hopefully everyone enjoys it. The food's been amazing. It's quite interesting about the significance of all of it, and yeah, the food's pretty good. It's so nice seeing everyone from across the university just coming and sitting together and sharing a meal. Still today, as I find as a staff member here at University College London, it is a vibrant place which is still at the forefront, as it always was, uh, of learning and particularly uh, of finding new subjects and uh, cross-disciplinary activities, research activities. UCL is a, a global university, so we have students from all over the world. We're here at university to educate ourselves, to learn more about the world and ourselves, to challenge our opinions. We have always attracted students from all over. So the syllabus is extremely international, the student body is very international, the academic staff are very international. 